really, you know, try something, refine it, learn from it, and then do the next thing, which is when you have a great partner in the business, you can do that sort of thing. And I'm not so sure everyone kind of starts out as lucky as I did. So, right. Branding is a, the branding is, is a big, big um, question mark, like, uh, kind of deciding, like, who you are, you know, where you're going, you know, what is your cigar company about, and, and how is it reflected through the experience of the cigar, right? So, you know, Rodrigo is about, you know, honoring that, that tradition, uh, but, you know, we try and kick it up a notch with some of the, the complexity that we're putting into the, into the flavors, into the cigars, right? But we are very, very much, very cognizant in, um, you know, let's, let's take our, our wrappers, for instance, right? The wrappers are actually a, a natural Maduro Habano. Um, we don't cook the leaf to get them to a certain um, color, right? I mean, we, some of the shading this year is, is going to be slightly different, and that's okay because, you know, we're not forcefully cooking them. We're not adding any colors or anything like that. But that goes back to kind of what I wanted the company to be, you know, is to really honor... You know what true cigar making is all about. So you have to think about that, and then you have to think about how is that best reflected in the brand. And for you know Rodrigo, you know people ask, me, what does that name actually mean? And my last name is Rodriguez, and so the Rodrigo thing is because Rodriguez is derived from the Spanish Rodrigo. Um, it's my way of honoring kind of those who've done this before me. And so it's, it's not exactly just about you know George and what George wants to smoke about how the, how we all got here to this point of making cigars and, um, and honoring this tradition. And so cool. that's extremely important. And then understanding, too, the marketing of the cigars, right? So you, you can't just put a bunch of cigars out on the shelf and expect them to sell. Um, you know, cigar smokers are kind of like wine drinkers where they will try new things. It's fun to try new things. It's a hobby. Right, and a lot of folks outside of the cigar industry don't understand that part of it, but it is a hobby, and, and that's what we enjoy. But um, you really have to make sure you make that first great impression, otherwise you're you're toast, right? Before you even get started. Right. right. So those are all incredibly important things in starting a, a new cigar company, and I just think that you know, with anyone um, getting the um, you know, getting the right marketing position and kind of sticking to what you believe in and taking it slow so that you can refine things is going to be very, very key. So, Agreed, agreed. Uh, let's take another question from the chat room. Uh, Jersey J asked, uh, George, are you going to be attending the, the uh, IPCPR this year? Well, I, I don't intend on having a booth, um, but I'll probably go with, you know, I said it, the cigar community, you end up making a lot of great friends. And so um, I'm sure somebody will either share some booth space with me or I'll tag along or something and, and just have a good time like everybody else and, you know, meet everyone else face-to-face out there. So that's what I intend on doing. And, you know, maybe next year, you know, 2012, we'll, we'll get a booth and we'll really, you know, when everyone is saying you know, what a great cigar Rodrigo is, we're going to have to put our booth out there. So... Good, good. All right. Uh, I can answer this question for you. Somebody asked about the price range for your cigars again. I know you answered it earlier. I have it written down here. I have from six seventy nine to seven eighty nine for the sizes that are out right now, and that goes along with the question right. from Cigar Lifter. Uh, when is the sixty ring gauge coming out? Um, sixty ring gauge will be out. Um, I expect it probably be out by June, and there are a couple of shops where you can get them. And if you want to try them out, shoot me an email, and I'll get some over to you. Um, but what I'm trying to do with those is uh, I want to differentiate the packaging. Like, and that might mean that I might change the band a little bit, but just something to differ- differentiate that it is a different blend, um, and, and it is a different line. So can I take things slow? Um, I let things evolve naturally, and when it feels right, I put it out there. Great. Good. 
George, what do you? Uh, let me ask you this: What do you look for in a cigar? I know when I'm I'm spending my money, and uh, I'm buying a cigar. You know, I want something for the a good price, but something that's going to give me some complexity and, and and flavor. What do you look for in a cigar? Well, I think it was um, Zeno Davidoff that said, you know, a cigar is, is supposed to be you know, enjoyed through you know, through the taste and through the hands and through the eyes, right? So it's got to be something that speaks to me through all of my senses. And, you know, it, it starts off with, you know, what does that, that wrapper look like? You know, how does a cigar feel in my hand? You know, the, the way that the band is presented. So all the presentation things from um, that does say something about the cigar, and then you hopefully um, see how the, the cigar performs, and, and hopefully that all of that presentation is not just a facade or some um, you know I guess lackluster uh, a filler, right? Um, right? But I look at construction first. Um, I look for you know great aroma coming off the light, um, and also the pre-light as well, and then you know me, everything else is in is in the smoke itself, right? So as that smoke is, you know, kind of moving across my palate and, you know, through my nose and you know, I'm looking at it and enjoying it, you know, that, that's what the cigar is all over for me. So um, okay. I like balanced cigar stuff, right? So I'm not a huge fan of those, you know, knock you out, you know, punch in the face sort of, of strength. <laughs> A lot of people like that, but it's not my thing. Um, I don't like mild cigar stuff, and so if it's too light and tastes like paper, I'm, I'm setting it down. And I think life is too short to smoke cigars that uh, you know are not enjoyable. You know, if it doesn't taste good, if it doesn't hit your palate, and if you're not enjoying it, set it down. I mean, I can show you my ashtray. Um, there are many in there that uh, I've set down after you know open a quarter of it and I'd rather light up a lot though. So. Right. Now we had another question for you here in the in the chat. Uh Jersey J asked another one. He, he says is there any meaning behind your logo on the on the cigar band? Sure. Well the logo itself, you know, you've got the uh lions and the, the tobacco leaves um, and also the five point star. So I wanted to do something that would immediately reflect both tradition and something about about myself. And so there's five tobacco leaves in there, and you know, each one of those represents um, one of my children, and so my five kids. Uh, there's also the five-point star, which kind of has two meanings to me. Really quick, actually. One is it, it kind of re- represents that uh, republic sort of thing, right? So my family's from Puerto Rico. You see that in the star. And also kind of the sister or brother island, I guess you can say, being Cuba, um, also has that star being very, you know, I think it's uh, like a comment in the, in the representation of the country, right? So it, it's kind of an odd to the countries that are producing tobacco you know, for many, many years, um, hundreds of years. And it's also representative of my wife and the mother of my children, which is you know, the center of all of those leaves. So, um, so that's that's how we put it together. And again, I'm blessed. Where I have a, a brother of mine um, who's based in Manhattan. He's uh, actually an, an animator and a very gifted artist. He does a lot of work for uh, MTV and you know, I guess, um, all of those uh, production companies. And, and he's a very blessed man. He's been doing the same thing since he's been a little kid, a five-year-old, drawing funny pictures. And that's what he does today. And, and created a great logo for me. So, there you go. Oh, that's great. That's great. All right. George, I got I got one more, one last question I got for you. It's going to be a two-part question. Uh, what's sure. your take What's your take on, on cigar bloggers, uh, cigar reviewers, for say? And do you think they help or hurt the industry? Cool. I'm putting you on the Good spot question. here. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> well, there's a there's definitely a rhetorical answer to that, but I'm you know, of course you you know um, by now um, I'm I'm an open book here, so you know I know only know one way to answer that, and that's with 
great honesty. Um, I personally get a lot of value, I think, from cigar bloggers, okay, because, you know, I can, you know, instead of, I, I get the feeling I get when I'm reading something from a cigar blogger is that I'm getting their honest opinion about something, whereas I don't feel that I'm getting that from a publication that's selling advertising, okay, and, you know, like that. More often than not, when I'm reading a publication that's selling a lot of advertising and I see some of the responses and reviews, um, I tend to raise an eyebrow because I'm the guy who's sitting in the cigar shops all the time and I'm saying, this is not what I'm hearing about this cigar. Well, why is this cigar rated better than this cigar? And it ends up sounding like, you know, feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm reading something where people, the guys who are writing it, are a little bit out of touch. And... Sorry if I'm offending anybody up there, but again, I'm, I'm being honest here. I don't get that with cigar bloggers, okay? Um, I feel like you guys are very honest, and, and you report what you're seeing. You report about, uh, you know, your experience with the cigars. Um, some of you have some ratings that are spot on, and some of you I would argue with. But, um, you know, I've stated the downside on the cigar blogger side is that... Um, I, sometimes I, I read through them, and I'm saying, wow, this guy is so critical, you know, because he's forgetting that he's reviewing a handmade product that's made from nature, okay? And, and you know, my response to that sometimes when, when I read a, um, a review on a cigar blog is, you know, would you rather me make this with a machine? Would that make you happy? You know, and so that's, uh, that's kind of the two sides of the coin with the... Um, Cigar bloggers, but I, I can tell you, I, I greatly appreciate the passion. And, you know, I know you guys are doing this because of the passion, because it's something that you want to do, the same reason why I make cigars. So, so thank you. All right, thank you. I mean, we appreciate you being on here. We appreciate the cigars. And uh, one real quick one here Jersey J asked a, a good one, actually. Uh, do, are you doing any events at the cigar shops yet? Like, he's looking at a Ruben Smokestack. Uh, he lives over close to there. Are you going to be doing any events or aren't events on your radar yet? Um, certainly, yeah. We'll definitely be doing some events. Um, you know, for now, I've been really just focused on, you know, creating the cigars. And, um, you know, I, I have done some events here in, locally in Pittsburgh and, in New York and stuff, which um, which went over very very well, and so I'm definitely looking forward to doing more events. Um, you know, get down to uh, Rubens with, uh, with Jersey Jay and the whole crew there. Um, you know, I'm I love being out there with cigar smokers. You know, and that's that's one of the, the key things for me in this business is that that connection with the people. And so we'll be out there if you. Um, if you get a chance, go to my website, which um, I know it's kind of a poor to be the website right now, but it's just a, a contact page, and the main reason for that is people can get a hold of me, um, give me feedback on the cigars, and sign up for my mailing list so that 